Hi everyone. So, it's that day again. It's leg day, 200 squats. <sighs> Not very enjoyable, but sometimes you have to do things that you don't like to do in order to <sighs> in order to get physically, mentally stronger, you know. So, 200 squats, today's topic, you know, in every video we talk about some stuff and today we'll, we're going to talk about why a man should be able to defend himself and self-defense at all, in general. <sighs> but first off, I have to do 100 squats before I can talk about anything, we warmed up and let's get straight into it. Why a man should be physically strong and capable of defending himself? Oh, well, a lot of reasons, but let's name the few important. The other ones we will leave to the, the imagination. First of all, to protect himself and not be a victim. It doesn't matter if you never want to fight if you uh, run from every fight possible don't want to go into confrontation or whatever the world is structured like this that uh, problems confrontation and danger will come to you if you don't come to them they will come to you 50 cent got one very good quote you don't need to look for me because I'm looking for you. And if you, if you know you're able to confront problems and danger in a fighting situation, uh, the more you know you can do that, the less they come to you. The less you know, the less the more people will take advantage of that that you're weak and will do whatever with you. I mean, they probably most of them won't do it out of. Uh, because they're well taught by their parents but otherwise there are some assholes that will do it regardless of if you're the nicest person ever or not there are motherfuckers out there that just are like that bullies and you have to defend yourself not only you point number two defend your wife your kids everyone you don't know when someone might might go crazy, stumble upon a random crazy person and he might want to hurt them. Who is going to defend them at that time? It must be you. Sorry to tell you, but it must be you. And if you're weak, you're going to be amongst the victims, your family and you. Rather than 
you being strong, maybe you become a victim if he has a pistol, if he has a knife, but you still protected them and they are not. It's a sacrifice that you will be able to make for your family. It's now it's a little bit tough of conversation, but that's how it is. That's the world we live in. And point number three is being able to physically fight has helped me in every realm of human endeavor. Why? In business, I'm more confident with girls before I got a wife. I'm more confident with everything that I start, going to a job, this and that, everything. I'm more confident because I know I probably can fuck 99% of the people in the room. That, that gives you a sense of of power over them, you know? And if you channel it right, being a good person, and let me tell you something before I go into the second part of the squats. Being able to fight and going to fight all the time against people and being a bully are two separate things. If you are a martial artist, boxer, MMA, wrestler, whatever, and you're good, you're not going and searching for fight and bullying others, no. You try to avoid it as much as possible, but when push comes to shove, you're ready. And yeah, that's what I wanted to talk. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to learn how to fight, get stronger, get leaner, subscribe to my channel. And I'll teach you. There are a lot, a lot of more videos coming up about fighting, training in general, so stay tuned, stay till the end of, the, of every video and watch out. bad this time starting to get used to it so hope you enjoyed my point of view on why you should be able to fight to defend yourself to be physically strong and capable but also disciplined to not do it if push hasn't come to, sh to shove so hope you're enjoying this type of videos guys as I said multiple times this one later on today it's coming a nice little training, 5 min, as I told you, 5 min of training, intense, is all you need for the beginning. Eventually, when you get used to it, you already get used to training, so it wouldn't bother you working out for more time, starting another type of training, like fighting, wrestling, whatever. Anyway, hope you're enjoying. 
getting strong, getting those legs big, eventually some weights. And yeah, leave a like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any new Tunjarov video because they are good.